Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Once again, it's time for uh, Dad Bod 2 Daddy training. And today was my posterior chain day. Uh, this is a relatively short vlog because when I'm cutting like this, I can only handle certain amounts of lower body volume. Uh, so really nine good sets for my glutes and hamstrings is enough. Of course, a lot of this is lower back. And then I did a couple sets of abs. As long as they're, they're high quality hard sets, uh, we're pretty good here. I didn't want to deal with the deadlift bar, like ripping my hands up, so I grabbed the power bar today. And of course, it did feel a little tough on grip. I almost felt like grip uh, was limiting these sets, but I still felt like they got pretty close to failure. So I still got a really good pump and burn in the hamstrings and everything. Uh, so again, I will, I will live with that. Uh, so I mean, got right around 10 reps per set. Um, of course, since I pick it up off the floor and then reload it and everything, I don't know. So maybe the first set was 11 or something. Uh, but again, doing some RDLs, I don't want to do heavy deadlifts every single one of these days because sometimes I do notice the fatigue from it. And right now, uh, I am focused on hypertrophy. I'm focused on body composition. I'm focused on bringing up my weak links. Uh, so I don't always have to do uh, the big power lifts. I don't have to prioritize them. Uh, and, and we know from the past that I can get my deadlift back up over 600 pretty quick, usually usually anytime I want. So, uh, again, not overly worried here. Again, let's just build the muscle. Build the muscle, burn the fat. Um, and again, because things like my glutes and hamstrings are very, very well developed, I don't feel like I need 12 or 13 sets or anything for them. Again, nine really high quality sets from three different exercises, more than enough to get everything done. Uh, of course, we throw in ab work and stuff like we do every workout. And so again, this ended up being a really a, a very short workout, a very short workout. Of course, I'm carved up now. Um, I think I mentioned in the vlog yesterday, uh, I added carbs back in yesterday. Um, Going to reduce, take some of the healthy fats out and just focus just on omega-3s. Uh, so again, diet's going to be very, very high protein, uh, still a moderate amount of carbs, and then, you know, a, a moderate amount of healthy fats. And at this point, I'm going to keep the, the fats all healthy. So what do I mean by that? It's just like fish oil, walnuts, flax oil, milk, flax seeds. Everything else is a very lean protein source or a whole foods carbohydrate. But again, uh, at this point, my protein is probably my, my dominant macronutrient. Because again, when I'm cutting like this and I want to focus on body composition, it is going to be pro a very, very protein-focused diet. So uh, protein is, is well over 300 grams at this point every single day. Like a lot of times post-workout, I do a 50-gram shake and then 30 minutes later I do another one uh, before I even really eat any foods. And then I'll get some carbs and other stuff in. So diet is pretty much, uh, you know, chicken, broccoli, and uh, brown rice type diet, right? Throwing in a little sweet potato, some oats, and beans. Um, so uh, very much what I'm doing, but the lean protein is extremely high. So again, uh, like 100 grams just from shakes every day. Uh, then all the other lean protein sources, right? Because we eat other stuff, Greek yogurt, uh, like the Mutopia or Bear Life Milk, all that stuff. So again, going to keep the protein extremely high while I'm continuing to trim down. I didn't go up a few pounds because of, of adding carbs back in, but I knew that was going to happen. And actually, I'm surprised that it went up as little as it did. Uh, so I'll take it. You know, it was like three pounds. All right, cool. But I do feel like I, I look a little bigger uh, and fuller as a result of that today. So after the Romanian deadlifts, we did glute ham raises. And these always, these always light my hamstrings up. I have to be careful because these give me cramps later in the day. And uh, it's kind of one of those exercises where people, are, they don't ever like how I do them. No matter what I do with it, someone always complains. Keep in mind, I'm working with equipment limitations. This is like the only difficulty setting I could even work these in correctly because these pads break. And that came up too, you know, I told someone in there, no, I mean, eventually I'll probably get the rogue donkey so I can get rid of this. Um, I've been really unhappy with Titan Fitness here. This GHR started out really good. These pads break all the time. And they never have them in stock. Both of these broken pads you see here all taped up are replacements already. These are not even the originals. They never have them in stock. And when they do, like when I ordered one of them, it took me nine or ten months to get it like one of those replacements. So it does make it a little frustrating. So I work with what I have to, but any way that I do these, I, I get an intense hamstring focus. 
every single time. So it, it almost doesn't matter. My hamstrings get bigger and stronger from this exercise. It carries over to my deadlift. Uh, so again, it's not like hamstrings are, are lacking by any means. So it works, it still gets the job done. So again, I always keep that in mind. I'm working around that piece of equipment on, on the form a little bit and we do what we can. As long as the muscle gets put into the positions that I want and it gets lit up and it works, I'm happy. All right, reverse hypers. I've been keeping these really, really light. I'm trying to get at least 20 reps. I start losing count though. Uh, doing reverse hypers and then I'm superset them with the hanging leg raises. All right, reverse hypers, best lower back exercise. And some people argue with that, but I swear by it. Um, I feel like the recovery it brings is amazing. Uh, the low back development and strength and rehab is amazing. And it's a great glute builder. Yes, it works hamstrings too, uh, definitely. Maybe not as hard as those other lifts. And it's also a great glute exercise. All right, the hanging leg raises, why do we do these? That's like I say every vlog, um, because I'm doing everything beltless. Right now, no equipment, I need my abs stronger. So I, I do those a lot. So it's abs all five training days, right? So that I can I can handle all the beltless work, particularly the squats and stuff on, on Fridays. Uh, plus, again, developing my core. It's always good if I want to look better. Because even now, look how big my abs are. I'm not crazy lean by any means yet. Yet you can still see the, the thickness of the abs in there. Uh, again, bigger, stronger abs. It will make you look better as you get leaner. That whole idea when people say abs are made in the kitchen, that's not true though. They're still a muscle and they still grow. They absolutely grow. And again, how deep they are when you're at any given body fat will be a function of how big they are. So doing lots of abs. And then the other massive benefit, I don't even have to think about grip work a whole lot because I do all of my pulling wrong. Everything is wrong. And then I do these all five training days, all right? This is grip training. It's grip training and it's shoulder health training because again, I had a lot of, uh, I feel like I have some scar tissue in there from that overuse a few years back when I went too hard on pull-ups and started developing those things. Again, another reason why I tell people, look, you can't go crazy high on volumes. It will accumulate problems over time. I don't care what any short-term studies may or may not show on hypertrophy, it will not last in the long game. You've got to run more moderate volumes, guys. Uh, and, and the shoulder issues I run into are, are confirming that because it's not from bench pressing or any of that. Benching doesn't ever hurt my shoulders. Uh, so again, working on that, restoring that range of motion, those, the hanging helps with this. So it gives me multiple benefits. I'm a big fan of the hanging leg raise. And then of course we finish up with one more set here of the reverse hypers. So again, I just superset these at the end. A nice short workout, happy with the workout, happy with the way everything felt. Uh, so nothing to really complain about with it other than those uh, design of those pads. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative.